welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse news update. I know, it's been a while since we've looked at some DC Multiverse figures. I do have the Plastic Man Build-A-Figure Wave, I can't wait to check out Plastic Man, but I have yet to find a Red Electric Superman. I have looked and looked, uh, still haven't found one, but rest assured, yes, as soon as I do come across one, I'll get to making that video. That's how I like to do them. I like to do it all in one go, a proper video. I don't mind if I don't find the other variances for the other figures. It's just that red electric Superman. That's the one that I'm after. This today will be primarily about the DC Multiverse Collector's Edition, the $30 price point figures. I think that in totality, it's a stellar character selection wave. This would be kind of a mishigash for me in choosing a character wave such as this to do the higher price points because I feel like each of these, if they were at the usual McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse prices, may have a better chance of moving quicker as opposed to $30 because I think a lot of people here are going to go, who are these characters, right? And you need to know your DC Multiverse a lot more. I'm just going to say, that can't be an excuse every single time. If you go, oh man, I collect a DC Multiverse line. I love it. And then you go, well, who's Clock King? You got to go, well, you, you say you like it. So I would figure, right? That type of thing. But regardless, we're going to talk about them. We're going to get through this. It's going to be a blast as usual. But before we get started... As always, if you're interested in anything we're talking about here, I will have affiliate pre-order links down in the description below. Thank you so much for using my links. Helps the channel to grow. Amazon, Entertainment Earth, GameStop, those types of deals. Those are the ones I use. Those are the ones I recommend. So, yeah, you should be safe either way when you pre-order. Fingers crossed, right? So, first and foremost, we have Rory Regan, the Ragman. And if you like a good raggedy man, this figure might be right up your alley. His whole shtick was, well, originally it was just a suit made of rags, and then it became, well, each of those patches is a soul that he's collected from punishing an evildoer. So there you go. He comes with powers. He's got cloth, good cape. I like this pose right here. In fact, pretty sure they're going for this artwork right there. So that's a nice touch. I like the attention to detail. There's a lot of paint on this guy. A lot of people are going to say, well, that's the $30 price point, man. That's, the, that's all the paint you've been asking for. Yeah, we'll have to see how that goes in hand. We'll just say cloth, good cape and paint. We get those with the standard price multiverse figures. Don't forget. And it is a reused body, which, yeah, the body type fits for Ragman. But all those extra little nuances and elements to it, that's not that's not Ragman. That's not. But that's beating a dead horse because people keep saying I'm not going to buy him. And yet they keep selling out. So Ragman, great character selection. Totally off the wall. Totally dig it. But it's just, again, it's like, yeah, they, I mean, it's all great for the character selection, for the way it looks. But then when you look at it up close with a microscope, you go, I see, I see the problems here. It's just another one of those figures with some deco and whatnot. There will be some variances, of course, in the Platinum Edition. And this is where the newer type costume, newer type look for Ragman will kind of come through a little bit it's not exactly his look but it's kind of that goldish yellow kind of glowy bits amidst the black costume so if you look at the figure and then you look at the costume it's just kind of referencing it this one's not for me classic ragman all the way but if you wanted to see it it's basically swapping out all the, the green for solid black. The cape is now solid black. So for a few of you out there, maybe you want to do customs. Maybe you want to do something with that cape. That might be right up your alley. But yeah, now this one, this is one of those variances where I'm like, hey, that's a great platinum because I don't know what I'm looking at. And I'm totally great with that. Moving forward, we have another solid character that I think was just a matter of time, especially with all the Joker figures they've been doing. But we have the red hood. And I like the simplicity of this. 
that's the Red Hood. He looks like a Mater D with a dome on his head, and that's exactly what he should be. More Mater D than motorcycle fetish, like the recent Jason Todd Red Hood. And I think that candy apple hot rod paint looks swell on that old helmet of his. He has a long red cape. It is wired, so that's a nice touch. Nothing seems to be underneath the hood. So just as a heads up, don't expect this by any means. But I do like that he comes with several accessories, all of which are very befitting to the Red Hood. I like this character. I think that the accessories, the look, the cape, everything very much fits what we're looking at here in terms of, yes, that is the Red Hood that would go perfect with your first appearance, Batman. So thumbs up through and through again, though. It is a reuse of a Joker body we have seen many times. Now, much like Ragman, there will be a platinum variance. If you look at the photos, can you discern the differences here? Well, it is really not much. He's more of a bluish purplish sort of styled suit instead of just jet black. So that will be the only difference. So I would say regular style or platinum, whichever one you'd prefer, I would go more for the black because that's the Red Hood to me. The other one is kind of more comic book cover inspired, kind of, sort of. But yes, that's again, another platinum variance where you could go, I'm kind of good either way, but I'd prefer the first one. And thus that brings us to the third and final figure of this new collector's edition line. The best, if I'm being honest, and of course I'm talking about the Clock King. Not the Temple Fugit Batman the Animated Series version of the Clock King. I mean the guy that's covered in clocks and has a clock face and a clock belt and carries around weapons in the form of the hour hand and the minute hand. Yeah, that's just bonkers, but that's how I likes my comic book characters, my villains. If you're gonna call yourself the Clock King, at least go all in, and this guy has definitely done it. He has a wired yellow cape. I think that that looks stellar. Yes, he has weapons, he comes with a stand. And all that aside, this looks to be a new body type. The deco, the paint seems to be there. He's got weapons, everything that you would need for this version of the villain known as the Clock King. That is just wild. Now, of course, there will be a Platinum Edition variant for all you Doom Patrollers out there in the form of Dr. Time, T-Y-M-E. So we're swapping out colors. Once again, you have the clock head, the evil clock head. He's got evil red eyes to him. It's not going to be exactly the costume, but it is close enough. And for all of you out there, all seven that know what it is that you're actually looking at here, he's fine. I want this one. This is one of the collector's editions that I will be going after in terms of platinum. So the other two, no thanks. Dr. Time, Clock King. Yeah, definitely will be grabbing both of these. So fingers crossed I can find this Dr. Time. So that wraps it up. Those are the three we're going to be talking about today. Six, if you're after the platinum edition variances. I'm interested to know what you guys think about this character selection. Is it too far off the wall? Is it for many of you like, yeah, I know one of them. I don't know all three or all four technically. So comment below as always for me. I think it's a stellar wave. I like, again, especially with Marvel Legends, DC Multiverse, the more you can kind of get outside the box of just the usuals. Again, not to beat a dead horse. I'm bummed that they are in that $30 price point. I think they fit really well at 23 to 25 bucks. I don't want the card stand. I don't want any of that. So I could say just wait for clearance if it happens, if you want them. But so far, it's been kind of few and far between. Although the Penguin Wave seems to be kind of going either which way, although trying to find some of those Platinum Editions or even the Plastic Man Wave, the Red Super. You know what? It's been kind of a pain. Let's just be honest, McFarlane Toys, it's not been fun collecting your stuff because it's hard to come by. So if you can get some more of that product out on store shelves, hey, that would be awesome. Or as I'm really starting to tell everybody, pre-order them and you're done, that's it. Except though when it comes to the Platinum Edition variants, you don't know what you're gonna get. Maybe you get the wrong one. You see how it's just a, it's, pain it's not it's not fun right everything is like a constant state of like what am i gonna get am i gonna get it it's one of those right first world problems <laughs> totally so i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember 
have fun, try and have fun, and just take your time. Much like me, I will eventually find the red Superman, but you will eventually get the figures you want with a little tenacity. When you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.